every single good thing you've heard about jiu-jitsu from Joe Rogan, from Jocko Willink, from your neighbor, your coworker who can't shut up about jiu-jitsu, it's all true. It's fun, it's physically and mentally challenging, it keeps you active, and it's a form of self-defense that you may be able to use one day to save your own life in certain situations. But all that being said, there's a bunch of negative things about jiu-jitsu that no one really ever talks about, but everyone should know before they step foot on the mats so they can protect themselves. So here's five things that no one ever tells you about jiu-jitsu. Number one is egos in jiu-jitsu, because even in a humbling martial art like jiu-jitsu, ego still exists, and they'll put you in danger. You know, it's this quote from Batman or something like that that says, some men just wanna watch the world burn. Well, in jujitsu and in martial arts, some people just wanna watch your bones break. You know, and so you gotta be careful about who you roll with, where you're rolling. The way you can do this is visit different gyms before you join one, see which one you vibe with the most, and then listen to other people's stories. If they ever tell you about a guy that rolls really rough or really hard, and then you watch out for that guy, and if he ever asks you to roll, you can always check your own ego and say, no, I don't feel like it. No, I'm just tired right now. No, I'll skip this round, I'm gonna stretch. Something like that, right? And you can protect yourself by checking your own ego and being aware of other people's egos as well. Hopefully you join a gym with great culture because they'll put your safety as a priority. This leads us to number two, something I know a little bit too well, unfortunately, but that is injuries. In jiu-jitsu, injuries happen. It's a combat sport. You're pushing, you're pulling, you're holding, you're squeezing, you're grabbing. You're trying to take each other down and trip each other. You're trying to control someone else's body and submit them and they're trying to do the same to you. And so in jiu-jitsu, accidents do happen. But that being said, you can prevent a lot of injuries by doing a couple of things. And the first thing I would think about is warming up. Make sure your joints are lubricated. Make sure you're primed and ready to go. Make sure you're ready for physical activity. Don't, don't just go cold and um, go straight into rolling. You know, make sure you're warmed up and ready to go. The second is staying hydrated. Make sure you're hydrated. Make sure you stay hydrated throughout your class or throughout your rolls. I remember getting cramps and, and whatnot because I was drinking coffee and rolling at the same time. That was a bad idea. Um, make sure you're hydrated and uh, don't drink anything that might dehydrate you during your roll. And the third thing is tapping early, tapping often. Protect yourself at all times and protect your partners because you can't train if you don't have any partners to train with. You can probably prevent a lot of injuries uh, by checking your ego at the door as well. Number three, and I turn on the light to shine a bright light on everybody's favorite topic in Jiu Jitsu and that is skin diseases. Yeah, I know it's nasty, I know it's gross, but we gotta talk about it because it does happen in jujitsu. It does happen in, in grappling in general because you're so close contact, it's very intimate, you're sweating on each other, a little bit of saliva, a little bit of blood here and there. You just gotta be careful uh, when you're uh, training jujitsu. And so I've had impetigo on my kneecap, I've also had ringworm right on the back of my neck, and that sucked the most only because you miss so much mat time, you don't get to train jujitsu. And then you feel a little bit of guilt. You're like, dang, like, how long has this been here? And you hope that you didn't give it to any of your training partners uh, and spread it around your whole gym, right? So you just gotta be careful. All I can say is stay as hygienic as possible. I tried my best. I did two showers, uh, one before class, one right after class. I had to do my own research. So please do your own research because I found out that maybe I was getting rid of a lot of good bacteria that could prevent that type of skin disease. Uh, but then again, I thought I got it from my sister's cat. And she gets mad at me when I when I mention that. But just stay as hygienic as possible and be aware of things that pop up on your skin. Number four, and everyone's gonna get mad at me for saying it, but size and strength matters. In jujitsu and judo, they said that they were made for the smaller man, and I truly believe that. However, if someone has a size and strength advantage over someone else and they use it, that's exactly what it is, an advantage. You know, there's weight classes for a reason. So if you let that discourage you in any way whatsoever, then jujitsu is probably not for you because there's always gonna be a bigger, badder, stronger person in the gym and you just have to come to grip with those terms. You shouldn't let that discourage you. You shouldn't let it discourage you from becoming the best martial artist, the best grappler, the best person that you can become because you can still improve in every facet. Also, you gotta reframe it as well and know that everyone comes in the gym with advantages and disadvantages. You know, the bigger guys, they come with the strength and power, but you might be smaller and you might have more agility, more speed, and a bigger gas tank than them. And so you just gotta play to your strengths 
uh, develop on your weaknesses and just become the best that you can be. Number five is steroid usage. People in this sport use steroids. I don't partake in steroids. I don't condone steroids. I don't even compete. But if you look at the highest level of competitors in jiu-jitsu, they're almost always on steroids. Like Gordon Ryan looks like Brawley and Santa Claus put together. Like he's not natty. And yet we can all, almost all of us agree as a jiu-jitsu community that this guy is awesome. He's great at what he does and he has a lot to teach the jiu-jitsu community. Steroids is just part of jiu-jitsu and it just is what it is, I guess. So if egos, injuries, skin diseases, big old mofos trying to kill you and roids doesn't scare you, welcome to BJJ, you crazy MFR, you're gonna love it. But be sure to see how you can get promoted in jiu-jitsu in my next video right here, as well as leave a comment below if you agree with what I said or if you disagree with what I said and did I miss anything at all because I felt like I covered a lot of ground here. But let me know what your thoughts are. Anyways, my name is Steven. My channel is about self-development and becoming better as a man. And so I hope that you enjoyed this video and I will see you on the next one.